Hi, I'm Brian Boucher with Artnet News. We're here at the Armory Show at the Contemporary Pier to offer you our hot take on what artworks and booths are cool. Here we're at the booth of Marianne Boski Gallery from New York, and she's showing an installation of ceramic sculptures by William J. O'Brien, an artist from Chicago, and that's really cool. These are taped together sheets of paper, ballpoint drawings based on the covers of Harlequin romance novels. She's got a show coming up at the MCA Chicago next month. It's Karen Sitter, and that's really cool. She had a show recently at the Nasher Sculpture Center in Dallas. She has a project coming up at the Spengel Museum in Hanover in Germany. And what especially caught my eye, of course, was her double monument to Dan Flavin and Vladimir Tatlin. That's really cool. It's partly inspired by early works by John Chamberlain, but it also makes you think of Mike Kelly and Yayoi Kusama, and that's really cool. She's an Iranian artist who smuggled crude oil out of Iran and did these drawings of scenes from pre-revolutionary Iran. And that's really cool. Georges Durot, or George Durot, uh, who died recently and was an early influence on Robert Mapplethorpe. And Kim Boris, the gallery owner, was just telling me that he really is one of the ones who introduced the black nude male to photography. And that's really cool. Here we are at the booth of Berlin Galleries, Anant and Zhu and Thomas Schulte. And this is a German artist named Michael Müller. And there's literary references, and this all goes back to some shows he did at the gallery. And that's really cool. One of the other things going on in New York this week, of course, is the latest New Museum Triennial. And they've got a stand here for the New Museum store. This is a bean bag designed by K-Hole with print all over me. They're 2,000 bucks. They're in an edition of 20. We're two hours into the preview and they're half gone. And that's really cool. We'll be right back. We're gonna go get some lunch now. This is a big, heavy salad, and that's really cool. A can of Coke is 350. That's not as cool. And that's really cool. It's called Adinkra Sasa, and it's made of little pieces of aluminum from liquor bottles all woven together. He had a very well-received show at the Brooklyn Museum a few years ago that's opening very soon at the, I think, the San Diego Museum of Contemporary Art. But in any event, that's really cool. These are some drawings by the Egyptian artist Wael Shawki. I recently reviewed a show of his that's at PS1 that you should not miss. These drawings have something of the sort of fantastical quality of his videos where he retells the story of the Crusades using marionettes. Don't miss the show. Wael Shawki drawings, these are really cool. And this is a work by Ryan Gander. He's obviously spoofing uh, the famously self-serious and crotchety artist Donald Judd who made these gorgeous minimalist stacks, so-called, and he's turned it into a design element by putting an actual living plant on top. That's really cool. So this is a video by South African artist William Kentridge, who of course you're familiar with, he's a giant, and that is of course really cool. One of my favorite artists, Martin Wong, a Chinese-American artist, He's been getting a lot of attention lately. There was a show of street art that he collected at the Museum of the City of New York. And uh, the Vietnamese artist Yan Pho did a project devoted to Martin Wong's collection of tchotchkes and some of his own artworks for his Hugo Boss Prize show at the Guggenheim. And that's really cool. This is a potato chip bag designed by Lawrence Abu Hamdan, who's the Armory commissioned artist this year. So he did a project which includes some sound art and a potato chip bag. It's a little hard to open. The chips are good though. So I'm here with Darvish Fach, and this is his project. It's called the Whirring Dervish. That's with two R's because it's got a little whirring motor. And Darvish was just telling me that he's riding this flying carpet around partly with the spirit of bringing some lightness to the fair. Is yeah, that right? That's the idea. The to bring a lightness, but both in terms of a sense of being, uh, a calmness, 
but also in terms of a sense of humor. We can always use a little humor in the art world, I think. Great, thanks for talking sure, to us. That's cool. Yeah.